You don't drink alcohol. Are you missing out on any potential health benefits? No. It used to be thought that moderate amounts of alcohol, a drink or two per day, was beneficial. Researchers called this the J-shaped curve. The idea was that compared to abstaining from alcohol, moderate consumption reduced things like cardiovascular disease risk and all-cause mortality, a general indicator of health and longevity. And it wasn't until you got above that moderate consumption level that risks started to increase pretty steeply. The research from the last few years has disproven that and shown that there is no amount of alcohol consumption that is beneficial. What did researchers get wrong in the past? The flaw in those studies was comparing to abstainers rather than comparing to occasional drinkers, people who drink once or twice per month. Because while people abstain from alcohol for many different reasons, overall, this group is not a very good control group because it contains a large proportion of people who abstain for medical reasons. Maybe they're recovering from alcohol use disorder or their doctors told them to stop drinking because they're at high risk for a heart attack. So when you compare against abstainers, you are comparing against a group that is sicker than average. So then there's an illusion that people who drink a moderate amount have better health. When you use the appropriate control of occasional drinkers, that effect disappears. Instead, if you look at cardiovascular disease or all-cause mortality, you see a neutral impact on health up to a little bit less than a drink per day for females or two drinks per day for males. And then risk of all the badness starts to go up pretty steeply. And unfortunately, if you look at cancer incidents, risks go up with the very first drink. If you're having a drink here or there over the course of a month, that's pretty harmless from a health standpoint. But yeah, identifying this flaw in earlier research and redoing the analysis with the appropriate controls has really changed the landscape when it comes to how we interpret the benefits or rather lack thereof of moderate alcohol consumption. Canada recently updated their guidelines. I would assume America will shortly. And then maybe this will hit headlines, but right now this is not widely enough known. 